Hey everybody, welcome to Ready, Set, Drone. Uh, today we are going to be doing a flight test time comparison between the DJI Phantom 4 and the DJI Mavic. I have two new batteries, fairly new batteries. Uh, they both have fewer than 10 cycles on them. Um, and so we are gonna take both of them up in the air and see which one lasts longer before it has to come down from a hover. So stay tuned. So first of all, a little bit about the batteries. The Phantom battery, quite a bit heavier. Um, I actually don't know its weight, but just sitting here, you can see the size difference and you can feel that it is a little bit heavier. It is a 15.2 volt, 5350 milliamp hour battery. So it's a pretty good sized battery. Now the uh, battery for the Mavic, which is quite a bit smaller, the battery and the Mavic, is a 14, I'm sorry, 11.4 volt, 3830 milliamp hour battery. So this battery actually has less capacity and less uh, voltage, whereas this one uh, has a little bit more, but weighs more. So I'm wondering if the weight difference is gonna be a, a, be a critical factor. So I'm checking my wind compass app, which is a great little app, uh, kind of tells you the direction and the speed of the wind. It says 4.6 miles per hour, and it is blowing to the south. I've got both of them set to GPS mode, so I'm basically just gonna take each of them up and have them hover. I've got both their cameras on the same settings. I don't think that'll make any difference. I am gonna run the cameras for part of it just to get a little bit of footage from the air of each other, but uh, not gonna really fly them around too much. Now, uh, it's just me today, so I'm gonna have to take one of them up, make sure it's parked and not going anywhere, and then take the other one up. So I'm gonna give the, uh, I'm gonna give the Mavic a one minute head start and then uh, take the Phantom up, but I'll account for that minute in my total times. Uh, gonna fly them both down to 25% battery to see where that is, and then we can uh, do the math and figure out what that would be if we run them all the way down to zero, which of course you never wanna do. So see how long they'll each go before they get to 25% battery? Let's check it out. Okay, I've got my uh, stopwatch here at zero. You may not be able to see it, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and arm the, um, Mavic and I'm gonna start the camera on the Mavic the uh, Mavic flight battery is telling me it is at 98% so I'm going to uh, go ahead and arm it take it up in the air start my stopwatch and take it up to 5 or 6 feet. There it is. All right. Uh, now my watch is running. I feel pretty confident. You can see the Mavic is sitting right in place uh, with GPS locked. It is not in tripod mode. It's just in GPS mode, but I feel pretty confident it's going to stay there. So I'm going to go ahead and set it down. Hit the camera on my Phantom and it is at 97%, the battery says. Um, it's been sitting on for probably about two minutes while I got everything going, so it was 1% lower than the uh, Mavic. And I am at 155 seconds, and up goes the Phantom. And I'll take it a little bit higher and I'm gonna turn it to face the Mavic. Okay, we're about to cross the 10 minute threshold on the Mavic and it is sitting at 60% battery after 10 minutes. Uh, we're crossing the nine minute threshold on the Phantom. 60% battery, so they are at the same battery level but the Mavic has been in the air for one minute longer at this point. All right, we uh, just crossed the 15 minute mark for the Mavic and the 14 minute mark for the Phantom. The Mavic is at 40% battery and the Phantom 38% battery. It's interesting because the uh, 
phantom keeps uh, drifting upward a little bit on its own. I, I wasn't really, uh, you can even see it doing it right now. It's just drifting up every so slightly, going up in altitude. And I'm not quite sure why it's doing that, but uh, the Mavic's pretty much stayed at the altitude I set it at. So, uh, and the Phantom's not drifting a lot, just a little bit, but over time it keeps getting higher and higher. I have to keep bringing it back down. Okay, 1855, that's 1755 on the Phantom. I started getting the low battery. 1755 for the Phantom. It is at 25%, actually 24 now. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Phantom down. You can see it also drifted out of frame again, uh, higher. So 1755 on the Phantom to where we got to 25% battery. Okay, Phantom is on the ground. And I just started getting the low battery warning on the Mavic at 1930. So 1930 for the Mavic at 25% battery. Gonna go ahead and land it. Okay, so an interesting flight. Um, as I said, both were uh, batteries that had less than 10 cycles on them. Uh, 1930 to get to 25% battery, and 1755, I believe, to get 25% battery on this. Uh, I can't do the math in my head, so I'll do it and uh, post it in a text right here, so you can see it. Um, of what that would be at 100% battery, meaning that if you ran it all the way to zero, which of course you don't want to do. But uh, interesting to know that they are not that far off from each other in terms of their battery life. Uh, as I said, the Phantom has a bigger battery with uh, more milliamp hours, which is sort of its, um, it's kind of like fuel in the tank, how much capacity it has. But the, um, the Mavic has a smaller battery, but it's much lighter. So it's not working as hard to stay up in the air. Um, hope you found this interesting. I know there's going to be a lot of people that say, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that, and I appreciate that. Uh, it's just kind of a data point to look at. Um, I think what I, my takeaway from this is, is that their battery lives aren't as far off. Um, I, I actually thought this would be, the Mavic would be significantly longer life than this uh, Phantom 4 but they were closer to their 25% uh, point than I thought they would be. So, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, and even if you didn't, please subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.